Hey guys, we're doing rebasing in this video, uh, which is kind of like merging. Same, same, but different. In this video, we're going to have one branch that diverges from master and you've got some commit on it. And then while that happened, master also had some commit on it. Uh, you don't want to just blindly merge back in to master. So on the branch that diverged, we're going to rebase it. So we won't have any unnecessary commits and we're not just blindly merging it back into master. We're going to see that everything works as planned when the branch that diverged took on all of the changes that master did. So a couple of videos ago, uh, you might remember how we tried to merge master into branch a before we merged branch a back into master so that we could verify that everything went well. Uh, if there had actually been any changes on master that would have created an additional commit that we didn't technically need. Merge basically says take all the changes from this other branch and add them after all my changes on this branch that I'm on. Rebase does the opposite and takes all the changes from the other branch and adds them at the beginning and then makes your changes on top of that. It's sort of like just pretend I created this branch just a second ago with all the completely up-to-date history of this other branch and then add all my changes on top of that. So let's get into it. Before we actually get to the demonstration though, I want to show a visualization and Reddit user desk zero, uh, I'm going to type out their name right here, uh, turn me on to this new tool at learngitbranching.js.org that visualizes git branching. So let's check that out. Um, and it doesn't have the full experience and the command line isn't quite the same. So we're still going to do the real demo. Uh, on my desktop here, but I just wanted to show you what the branching strategy is going to look like because they do a lot better job of visualizing it than I do. So we're on master here. We're going to check out a new branch called diverged. And then we are going to make it diverge. And now we are going to go back to master and add a commit to that one. So check out master and then make a commit on it and we'll hop back onto diverged. So we're on diverged and we want to merge back into master, but instead of just merging this time, we're going to rebase. So we're going to take the commits from master, add it onto this branch and then replay our commits over that one instead of vice versa. So we're going to rebase master. We're on diverged and we're rebasing from master. So the one that gets modified is the diverged branch. So you can see that we're on this branch right here. Uh, it has masters commits first, and then it added the diverged commits after that. So now we will check out master and then merge back in. And so you can see we are on the tip of the branch and masters commits happened first and then diverged happened second. And that is exactly what we're going to do on the desktop now with the real commands. So let's check our status. You can see we are on master. Um, let's go ahead and check out diverged, just like in the visualization. And we'll make some modifications. We'll add that. Commit it. And then we'll check out master. And then you can see this doesn't have the modification that we just made. Let's make a, another modification to master. And then we'll add that in and commit it.
And now we're going to go back to the branch called diverged. And we'll rebase the changes from master into diverged now. We're on diverged right now. Therefore, any modifications we make are going to happen to the diverged branch. We're going to rebase with master. So that'll take the modifications from master, put them first, and then replay the changes that we made on diverged after that. So it said rewinding head to replay your work on top of it, applying made a modification. So that's the order in which things happened. It took the changes from master, added those, and then it applied made a modification. And if you remember the get messages or the commit messages, made a modification was the commit message of the diverged branch. And that happened second. And that's exactly what we were expecting. So now we'll check out master again and merge in from diverged. And this is just fast forwarding. They had the same change that happened at the same point in time. And all they needed to do was fast forward to get up to speed. And that about does it for rebasing. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, comment, um, share, whatever, please. <laughs> Hope to see you in the next one.